In this video, we will show you the Group World Administration Control Panel. In order to use the Control Panel, you must set up a hosted Group World trial. You can set up a trial at the groupworld.net website. To log into your Control Panel, enter your customer email address and password. Once logged in, you will see a list of the rooms you have created. When you first activate your Group World trial, you will see one room already set up. Click on the login link to log into the room. You can share that link with other users. The invite link next to each room will copy the room link into your email. Click the edit link to edit the options for a room. Each room must have a name, which uniquely identifies that room. We will go through the most commonly used options. If you want to record all sessions for the room, tick either the Automatically Record Every Session box or the Automatically Record Every Session but only once at least two users are logged in box. If you want, you can set up a presenter for the room so that only the presenter can transmit audio and video or draw on the whiteboard. If you don't set up a presenter, then all users can draw and transmit audio and video. The video options allow you to control the video window size and location, and whether the audio or video is completely disabled. You can simply tick the large video windows option to increase the default video window size. The whiteboard options allow you to enable or disable various whiteboard features. If you want the whiteboard to be synchronized among all users so that everyone sees the same when one user scroll or zooms, tick the multi-user pan option. By default, when users upload a document, it will clear all pages on the whiteboard. Tick the Don't clear all pages when uploading documents box if you prefer to upload to a new page and keep the existing pages. The chat options allow you to turn off private chat, add a put up hand button, or the ability to send files to other users. Click the Create slash Update button to save the changes to the room. If you want to copy a room, click the Edit link next to the room you want to copy, and then change the room name. This allows you to set up a room as a template and then copy it to other rooms. Click the Delete button to delete the room from the control panel. Note that this does not delete any files or recordings for the room. Click the Playback link to playback recordings. You will also see the playback link at the bottom of the web page for each conference room if there are any recordings for that room. The room URL shows the link for each room. This is the same as the login to room link. The embed code displays the code to embed the room inside your web page. Simply copy and paste the iframe code into your web page. If you prefer, you can also copy the entire HTML code for the room into your web page rather than using an iframe. This allows more flexibility, allowing you to use the Group World JavaScript API to control room features. To copy the HTML code into your page, open the Group World room in your browser. You can then either right click to view the source code and save it, or else save the web page as HTML only. You can then change the room name in the HTML code to dynamically create different rooms. To use the JavaScript API, copy the API call into the HTML code. You can see a list of the JavaScript API calls in the Group World API web page. Each API call corresponds to one of the options in the room editor although the API offers some additional options that are not available in the room editor. Using the API allows you to create rooms dynamically in your web server without having to manually create each room. You can also change the room name in the URL for your room to dynamically create a new room without having to manually create it. However, this will give you the default room features. Click on the username slash password management link to create individual usernames and passwords for your users. By default, users can enter any username without requiring a password. 
However, if you add individual usernames and passwords, then users must enter a valid username and password to log in. You can also control individual permissions for each user. To revert to not requiring passwords, simply delete all users from the list. Click Server Configuration to change the overall options for all rooms. This allows you to set up default upload and delete permissions for all users if you have not set up individual usernames and passwords. You can also modify the default maximum idle time and session time. The domain lock option allows you to restrict your rooms so that they can only be hosted on your own website. Various statistics are displayed showing the peak users and number of visits. You can have these statistics emailed to you daily if you wish by filling in the stats email field. This will also mean that you will be emailed immediately if you ever reach your user limit. The server status link shows the current number of users logged into your rooms as well as peak usage statistics. The Create New Conference Room link lets you create a new room. Simply enter the room name and then change the configuration to your requirements. You can click the Room Creation Wizard button to set the most common room options. Click Manage Files to see how much space you are using and to delete individual files or entire directories. Click Delete All Files and Recordings if you wish to entirely delete all uploads and recordings. If you prefer, we can configure your Group World installation so that these files are automatically deleted after a given period of time. Contact us to set this up. The log file shows various information and errors from your Group World installation. You will see a message logged each time a user logs in or out, or if there are any warnings or errors. Click the Ban Users link to create a ban list. This lets you ban users from all of your rooms by entering the IP addresses you want to ban. Click the Help button to see the help pages. With a 25 user or higher license, you can configure automated uploading of your recordings to Vimeo, Google Drive, or Amazon S3. Simply click the appropriate link to set up automatic uploading.